Hey y'all. Um, bienvenidos a mi canal. Okay, welcome back to Machanto. Happy Wednesday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world. Okay, listen. Um, <clears throat> jump right on into it. So I was reading the verse of the day, and it is Matthew 9, uh, la la la, 37 to 38. Let me just read it real quick. It says, Then he, Jesus, said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers in his, into his harvest. All right, boom. So I was watching, um, so I went to the Bible app, right, verse of the day. And so I watched a little video of the person talking about the verse. And so he gave the example of, um, he had a pear tree, right, in his yard. And the fruit got ripe, but then by the time... They got him and his family tried to go get some pears off the tree. It was rotten. And so they had to spend time cleaning up all of the rotten fruit and getting the flies out of there because the squirrels and raccoons or whatever animals were eating the fruits when they were ripe. The squirrels and the other little animals got to the fruit when it was ripe, but they wasn't the ones that planted it. This man and his family went to go to the tree and see, oh, let me go get these pears. We love pears, right? We planted the seeds for the pears. But by the time we get to the tree, it's all rotten and there's no more and there's no... Oh my gosh. Okay, he was talking about with this verse, right? Ooh. Ooh. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. The laborers to be able to come up to pick what, you, what was harvested, right? You go plant it, there's seed time harvest, right? There's seed, you planted it, there's time you have to wait for it. And then when it's harvested, right, when it, the things that you planted, when they finally grow up, when they grow and ready to pick them, you got to go pick them. If you planted a seed for a tomato, it grows, blah, 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 and now the plant is ready, it's right, it's ready for you to get it out the dirt. You got to go get it out the dirt. It's not just going to pop up. It's not going to pop up out the ground and onto your plate. He said, don't just pray, be the answer to your prayer. All right. And this is what Jesus just dropped and said, here, say this. If you don't do the work after you plant the seed, you'll never get to eat the fruit. It'll just be hanging there on the tree ripe until it gets rotten. If you don't do the work after you plant the seed, you'll never get to eat the fruit. You planting the seed is you praying about it, right? You're praying about it. You are praying fervently about this thing. You are calling down heaven about this thing, right? And when it finally comes up, right, you have to do the work to pull it up. It's work having a garden. It's work. Oh, my gosh. Faith without works is dead. There's no point in you having faith for a thing that God told you. There's no point in praying for the thing when God told you. But when it comes up, you just expect it to float on to. You got to do some work. got to put in some work. You got to pick it when it's right. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You got to pick the fruit off the tree when it's ripe. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there. We just be waiting like God. I'm wait. I'm going to pray, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to sit here while my fruit is hanging there. Right for me to go take, go take it. I know I look crazy, y'all. Them fireworks was going off last night. I ain't getting no rest. I would just all discombobulated. But I hope y'all get what I'm saying, okay? You got to go pick it. Pick the fruit before it's rotten. That's it. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this makes sense to somebody. Listen, child. Oh, God. All right. That's it. See, nadie te ha dicho hoy. Esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I love you. And I love me, so I need to get some rest. Y'all see my eyes? Because listen, life be lifing, sure enough. <laughs> but guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side.